Well, Senate Republicans voted against a proposed legislation today that would protect access to in vitro fertilization. IVF is a fertilization process where a woman's egg is combined with sperm in a controlled environment to create an embryo. Once the embryo grows, it is then implanted into a uterus and results in pregnancy. Now, Senator Chuck Schumer brought the Right to IVF Act to the Senate floor for a vote this afternoon, where it failed to pass with 48 votes in favor to 47 opposed, and the legislation needed 60 votes to pass. Schumer says the Right to IVF Act focuses on increasing access to IVF services, including making the treatment more affordable. He says everybody knows somebody who's been impacted by IVF. This is deeply personal to me. I've seen the miracle of IVF in my own family. One of my grandkids was conceived with the help of IVF treatment. And I have a beautiful, beautiful little baby boy running around. And I'm so, our, our family is so joyous. I can't imagine what they would have done if they would have told us, sorry, we're no longer offering that treatment. Schumer says without IVF, families experiencing fertility challenges may never be able to have children. He says that in 2022, over 10,000 babies were born through IVF treatment.